Good morning! I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to RuneScape. So, we're here on Ferenske, and we're gonna go up there and look at Maw, I guess. Or, yeah. Um, but before we get started, I noticed something really funny. And that is that General Kazard here is still holding his sword while he's doing his, like, animation. So it looks like he's just committed Sudoku here and just like stabbed himself. It is, it is, it's really funny. I don't know why this is so hilarious. Yeah, look at that. I don't, I don't know what the deal is with this, but it is absolutely hilarious. Uh, let's examine him. A fierce and terrible Majorit general. Yeah, yeah, of course, with the, with the, with the sword sticking out of the... That's, you know what, you do you, I guess. Everybody does their rituals in a different way. You, whatever. So it looks like we're going up to here, and it looks like there may be a person up there. There's a yellow dot, so... Unless that yellow dot is Maw. I don't know what we're doing up here. Um, not exactly. What, what, is our, what does our quest say? The children of Maw. Nightmare. Oh, prevent her from disrupting the... Yeah, okay, so we're gonna... Prevent her nightmares from doing things, I guess. Oh, that's a thing. All right. So Ma, oh, there's her hand. Oh, it's moving, that's creepy. Does she not have a lower half of her body? Is it literally just an upper half? Oh, Saren's here. Examine Ma, an elder god. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, does she not have a lower half of her body? Hold on, let me... Oh, I let me, let me, um... Let me take a look with the free cam here. Uh... Oh, damn. That is a cool... Hold on. Let's, uh... That's a cool shot right there. Um, that might be the thumbnail for this episode, I don't know. Oh, yeah, she doesn't have a lower half of her body, unless it's, like, inside this rock. Um... It could be inside the mountain. But... I don't think she does. Hold on, can I... Can I go in the ground here? You can- you can sometimes go inside- yeah, you can go inside some scenery. But it doesn't look like this scene- this ground is scenery that I can go inside. Yep, it won't let me go in there. Interesting, interesting. All right. I guess we're gonna go talk to Saren. Polarized Moon, thank goodness you have arrived. The ritual is completely dis destabilized, Ma. I'm not sure how much longer I can soothe her for. If I try to stop the ritual, she may be descended into terrors. There's no telling the destruction she could cause. What can I do to help? Her energy is drained. As her energy is drained, Ma's nightmares are intensifying. We need to calm her or else the risk to complete annihilation of Ferenske. How can we do that? Can we defeat the creature she dreams into existence? No, no. Only to make things worse, we must defeat her nightmares before they manifest. I believe you are familiar with Zaras' ability to enter an individual's mind and create shared spaces of consciousness? I am. I possess similar abilities. If you accept, I will be able to send you into Ma's nightmare. There's no telling what you will find, but I trust you will find a way to calm her. Hang on, you want me to send into me into the nightmares of a dying Elder God? With Guthic's blessing upon you, I can only open the door. You must step through it. Time is of the essence, Polarized Moon. Are you ready to enter Ma's nightmare? Yes. The core of Ma. Bladed Muspa. Center of Ma's mind, protecting at all costs. This must be Ma's core. Center of her mind and the source of all her power. Wow. Why are the Muspa around her core- stood around her core like that? You are in Ma's nightmare. There. These must be her fears. The Muspa represent everything Ma has lost. As the anima of this planet has drained, so has her energy. Once she created gods, now these grotesque imitations are all that is left of her power. It would appear that in the depths of her mind, some part of her still knows this. I will provide you with my light to drive back dark of these nightmares. Are you ready to release their grip over her? A glowing orb. Okay. Use on... 
do I use it on these guys? Oh, oh wait, hold on, do I use it on this? Oh, okay, nothing interesting happens. Insert, oh! Oh, okay, I see, I, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, I understand. Whoa. Okay. All right, I, un I understand now what we are doing. Okay. I am like steadily taking damage here. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Well, that one was already too late. Okay. All right, I, I think we might be fine. Oh, the nightmare is just getting closer. Oh, while we're in the dark, the... it damages us. Okay, we did it. Cool. In defeating the nightmare, Nuspas... Mus Nuspas... You have begun to calm Mars Terror. However, there are greater fears to face. We must go deeper yet. Okay. Whoa. Thing is scary as all hell. Oh, okay, I see. So I need to run between the... I run between these. Alright, I don't know what this bar above me is. Take out the light. Okay. Azanadra and Zamorigal. Okay. Exit... What? Okay. Oh! Would he tell Azanadra... Oh, so she's afraid of... She's afraid of them. There are times when Ma would occasionally become lucid. However, she was unable to separate dreams from reality. Her screams would echo across the mountains, causing earthquakes as she hurt herself. It appears I must be to blame for this part of her nightmare. I encouraged the Majara to perform a ritual of innovation, which would drain Ma of some power, settling her fury and allowing the Majara to breed. Ma became more aware of this over time, and came to fear these rituals. Her terrors were increasingly violent with each and every one. From what you have found in her nightmares, it would seem that she was aware enough to know it was the Majar draining her power. Let, her, let us banish this fear. Okay, so I now have two orbs. Insert orb. So let's put... Okay, so take this. Put that there. Okay, we're all good there. Oh, nope, there we go. Put it here. Take this one and put it there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn, I missed. Oh, god damn, this is, this is difficult. Okay. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. Alright, there. I kind of want to keep one on those short paths, just because they... Okay. The short paths are harder to catch. Alright, I think we're good now. That should be enough to... yeah. I don't think I have to worry about... I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, okay, cool. I didn't think so. 
Ma's fears of the majority have subsided, but there was nightmares still. You are close now. Keep going. Whoa. The universe starts to unnerve you. I'm going to eat some food. Touch the red light shard. Open stone shard. Whoa. So let's go grab... Let's go grab these. Oh, I can only see them when... Okay. Alright. Okay, go, go, go back, go back. Alright, alright. Oh, this is scary. I'm not gonna touch that one until I have the other ones. What? That- oh, it's moving. Interesting. Okay, so is it gonna move all the way here? Okay, and then what if I preemptively move... Okay. And then I need to go all the way back. So, do I start taking damage once this meter goes all the way up? Is that what's the, the deal here? Oh. Blocked path opens. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of... Okay, I did it. Exit Saren. <clears throat> ah. Zeros, Saren, Zeros, Saren. Okay, great. I see. No. This is the deepest part of her nightmare. Did she truly fear us? Zeros and myself are Ma's greatest creations. She loved us completely. As I've seen countless parents love their children since leaving this place. Alas, her love was overwhelming. Zeros felt smothered by Ma and left Ferenske, leaving me alone to care for her. Those were dark days. Her moods... Traveling between deep depression and intense fury. I alone had to handle her. But nothing lasts forever, even for an elder god. I was powerless. Nothing I did could never be enough, so eventually I too left, hoping there would be something out there that could help. Ma, I'm so sorry that I'm a part of your pain. I never wanted to abandon you. Polarized ple moon, please drive back these fears. Okay, so let's put... I have three of them now, so I can put them on these short paths. Yeah, I'm going to keep those on the short paths, and then I'm going to take the other one. I'm going to take the other one with me. And stand here. I hear one coming, but from where? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to walk over here. Cool. Oh, there we go. Then send it here. Oh, crap. That's bad. Oh, that one's not good enough. Oh, let's send it. No, let's go here. Oh, I don't have the... Well, that's... That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Things are going poorly. Okay, let's block that one. Okay, we're- we're good here. Can I stand here, please? Okay, there we go. Oh, goddamn. Get that one, get that one. Yes. Go, 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 go. Cool. Okay, I did it. There we go. Ma, oh, I see it now. That icy corruption torn in your core. You are like this because someone close to you willed it. There's only one way I can help you. I am just so sorry it has taken me this long to realize. Okay. Oh, we are- we're back out. Does, uh, does he still have that in his- Alright, here we go. Well, what do you got? You have plunged into the depths of an elder god's nightmares and lived to tell the tale. Gothix was right about you, Polarized Moon. 
Nothing's been destroyed. Then that must have worked. Indeed, you prevented Ma's terrors and saved us all from certain destruction. Alas, the ritual is over. I could not stop it. Did Ma survive? Her body, yes, but her mind... Ma's energy has been so irreversibly depleted that she will never wake again. I cannot bear it, Polarized Moon. I feel her pain in my essence. As though a piece of myself is dying with her. Can we... help her? Nothing I have ever tried has worked. She had lived such an agonizing existence. What about the corruption? I found Ma's core in the deepest part of the nightmare. There was something wrong with it, like it had been corrupted. The sickness that plagued her must have wound its way down to her deepest essence. Or originated there. Polarized Moon, what did this corruption look like? Like an icy scar. A spiral of blue crystal carved deep into the core. Just like the eggs in the Elder Halls. Surely it could not be. What is it, Saren? I cannot think about this, Polarized Moon. Not now. Perhaps there are others that can help you understand. I realize there's only one thing that can be done. I'm sorry, Mother. She's gonna kill her. I think I always knew in my heart that it would come to this. If I'd only known sooner, I could have saved you so much pain. You deserve better. You gave us all your love in your own way. So great and complex, forever doomed to be misunderstood. Forgive me, my creator, my inspiration. Oh. My mother. Saros, how could you? Come, Polarized Moon. I will not let him get away with this. Ooh. No, I can investigate her, but nothing happens. There's still a light there. A dead elder god. Wow. That was, uh, that was very intense. All right. So now, Saren and, oh, on the mini-map, you can see her body on the mini-map. That is creepy. That's creepy. If I, if I remember, I will show you guys that, because it is, it is creepy. Uh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, Saren's down here, yeah. So they're all rejuvenated. Does Kazard still have a sword? He's still carrying his sword. That is funny. I don't think he's supposed to be holding his sword for this scene. Alright, take my place in the lineup here. Zaros, your actions have resulted in the death of your own mother. How could you? She is truly gone. Then we did her a kindness. Zaren, her entire existence was pain. Her existence was beautiful. She had the power to create life, and she dared to do so. Something you will never achieve. Perhaps not, but I am now one step closer. I thought death would have taught you humility, but you're just as arrogant as before. Oh. Wait. You have been here this whole time. I sensed you. Your aura, that pull. Thought it was Ma, but I felt it was you, Saren, goddess of the elves. Yes, Zamrak. We have met before, but... I know we have. Somehow, I remembered your essence from a memory lost in time. But I recognized you as Ma. That must mean... It was you. You came to us posing as Ma all those years ago. You taught the rituals to us. You made us believe that they were the will of an Elder God. No, I was trying to help. I could not foresee what would become of your race. How could I? Majoret, this is Saren, your false Ma. She alone bears the responsibility of what our race has become. Please, I never meant to... Millennia of anguish and suffering. For our race is in, our, is in on her hands. Leave her. Do not defend me, Zaros. You will never stand beside me again. Surely it cannot be. Our greatest tradition was never anything but a facade. Hmm, yes. It is true. I remember that visit. Somehow in my mi Somewhere in my mind, aeons ago it was, you looked... Somehow different, Saren, but you are not Ma. You are a pretender. It was all lies. Your race was dwindled to such a paltry number for nothing. It was not for nothing. If you had not performed the rituals to give the energy back to Ma, she would have torn this planet apart. Your whole race would have been annihilated. And sacrificing our own kin was the best you could think, to think of? With all the power and wisdom you have been gifted, that was the best you could do? It was naive, yes. I have made many mistakes. I bear the guilt of my actions every waking moment. 
You may bear the guilt, but not at the consequences. Look what you have done to our glorious race. Look what is left of us. You taught us to kill one another. Made us rely on it. You led us to the very brink of extinction. Please, I'm sorry. So sorry. You do not get to be sorry. You are the cause of so much loss. So much misery. Even the death of your own mother. Oh, damn. Saren, please stop. Uh-oh. Sister, you will destroy them all. I cannot stay here any longer. It is not over between us, Zaros. Not this easily. You will pay for what you have done here. Ma's death is on your hands. And while I still draw breath, I will stand against you. Damn, I... I don't know who I want to side with here. Like, yes, she's the light and he's the darkness. But, th like, between the two of them, I don't... They both were trying to do the right thing. At least from a certain perspective. I will deal with Saren later. Now we must focus on the path ahead. Uh, how did she- how did Saren trick the Majard into performing the rituals? She had always been carrying to a fault, blind to the fact she smothers the subjects of her affection. Her heart ached for Ma, watching her pour what little energy she held into the creation of new beings. To sustain her, to save her from death, Saren taught these creations to transfer the energy back into her in small doses. Pa, these creations. We were born the same way as you were, Zaros. Our lives did not matter less. Saren came to us, posing as Ma. She created the original ritual marker and taught us to sacrifice our lives to the kin, to our, of our kin to pay tribute to her. She was only doing what she believed was the right course of action. Do not argue for her, Zaros. You have made an enemy of, of her now. Then let us not dwell on this topic. There is something far more relevant. Zamrak, what I, I have kept my word. When Sliske holds his game, you will be my Legatus Maximus once more. Do not tempt me, empty lord. I owe you no fealty. And we shall see. Today, the victory is ours, Majoret. We spoke to Saren as a downtrodden race, sulking and sorry for ourselves. We may have been pushed to the brink of extinction. We may be few, but today is the dawning of a new era. We have been pushed. Oh, I. What? Click. <laughs> Look around you. This day, we have all grown in power. Adversity has pushed every one of you to become greater than you could have ever imagined. And I have achieved godhood. The genes of our species hold such incredible potential. It is in within all of you. We are too few to unite, to continue these petty feuds. It is time to put aside our differences. It is time we unite. Bah, you are swept up in the moment. We do not need these Zerosians to regain our glory. Your actions may have earned my respect, Zemrak, but I will not never work alongside a fool like Zamorigal. I do not ask you to become comrades, but settle your differences. Stop fighting against each other, instead fight for the prosperity of the Majorit. Zemrak, you showed self-sacrifice today I did not know you possessed. But my loyalty will always lie with Zeros. I, I will stand for the unity of our race. I knew you Zerosians would be forced to see the benefits of Zemrak's teachings eventually. Some of you are willing to- some of you I am willing to bury the hatchet with, but you are a snake in Accra. You will never have my trust. Please, let us not be descended into insult insults now. The unification of our factions would be the greatest leap of progress for thousands of years. Kashai is right. We have stagnated so long that we almost allowed ourselves to be completely wiped out. What gods we pledge our allegiance to does not matter unless we are, they are at war. And we are one race. We are all children of Ma. You have taken issue with our methods before, Azanadra. You know it will happen again. Such things can be discussed in the future. Time is on your side. There is no ritual looming ahead, no pressure to avoid sacrifice. You are free now, all of you. So claim your immortality, claim your honor, claim greatness for the Majoret. All right, Moon. We could not have accomplished without this without you. You have my gratitude. Just remember, it was I who gave you this freedom. Under my guidance, you have shattered all your limitations. It is inspiring. But remember, Zamorak, I made good on my promise. For now, you belong to me. Then it would seem we have both gone out of respect this day. But you should also remember I owe you a single action. Choose it wisely. Believe me, I will. 
For now, there are other matters that require my attention. I must pay homage to my mother. Meet me by her remains, Polarized Moon. I have something for you. Wow, okay. Uh... I am going to speak to each one of these, but I am not going to use the grovelly voice for any of them, because that is killing my throat, and I have an upcoming table reading for an animated series that I need to, to be ready for. So, I'm not... You should visit Zeros where Ma died. Is there something else you want to know? What will you do with your newfound power? It is not something I would tell the others, but I have always been in the shadow of, our, of the ritual. I kept my head down, I have gathered enough power to just direct gazes to other Majorit. I have maintained alliance alliances with the prominent. The shadow is gone, and I look at my life as I do not recognize any of it. It was a series of blank walls and empty faces. Whatever I do next will be fearless, I know that. I'm going to stand as equals with the gods. I'm going to be known, feared, loved, feared. The name Akthan Akthanikos is going to mean something. Do you still- would you still consider yourself a Zerosian? I do not know the answer to that question right now. For once, I feel like I- I want to focus on myself. To understand what this means for me. This is not self-interest, it's something that needs ha to happen. I feel like a chess piece that has been on the winning side, having never been moved. Goodbye. What well, he's to tell. Zaros is something waiting for you. Uh... What will you do with your newfound power? Wish to talk to Azanadra about this very topic, but... He seems distracted. I fear that he has given another secret note by Zeros. Another task that can only be given to the trusted. If I am untrustworthy, it's if I have no ability. Am I a footnote? This is where I lie in the damned Peugeot's book. Am I to be an observer in this wretched story? Forgive me, polarized moon, it's hard to keep emotions at a bay when you are cur coursing with power. The exhilaration is intense. What will happen to the Muspa now? Without Ma, they are phasing in and out of reality. They are echoes of her power and will, over time, it will dissipate. In the short term, they are powerful and to be feared, at least by you. Why do the majority have crystals in their foreheads? Good question. I have an unusual one to ask now. Uh, one answer is be less than satisfying. We are made by Ma, and she simply made us this way. We are more likely formed by the same crystal that covers Zeros and Saren's bodies. But this gives other questions. Well, were we made from Ze were we made from Zeros? Are we children of Zeros, not Ma? Like the Elven City, where we constructed from Saren. We will never find out now. When we die, our crystals remain, yet the ret rots away, likely to then be the source of our power. A long life, and maybe even the substance that denies us an afterlife. To answer your question, why do we have these crystals? It is because these crystals are who we are. Wow, that was- that was- I like that. I'm glad I'm talking to these guys. So there also waits you to talk to them- okay, blah blah blah. What do you do with this newfound power? We should talk to you about the same topic, Polarized Moon. I've seen nothing strange has happened. For the ritual, I felt the ceiling of my power, but that is no longer the case. I feel like I am unshackled. I need time to myself. Time with my books to research the meaning of this. But I have a very real fear. Let's talk about it later, away from the others, once I have found out more. Uh, what does this mean for your relationship with Zeros? It has only strengthened my bond. To an outsider, Zeros's actions may have seemed selfish, perhaps underhanded. But Zamrak needed to be directed. Zeros knows an unfettered Zamrak is destruction for Gilinor. Zeros needed to manipulate this moment to move Zamrak into a different path from the one he was on. Who would have won in a fight between you and Lucian? Once I came across human troops in a second age, we were discussing whether I could take Zamorak. These were obviously something in the human condition that desires conflict between the most powerful. Moya against Char, Zamorak against Zaros. I should spend time ruminating on why humans care about these trifles. But, I know, but know this, I would have defeated Lucian any day of the week. <laughs> Goodbye. Karshai. You should meet- yeah, blah blah blah. What will you do with your newfound power? I was thinking of leaving Polarized Moon. Not just leaving Ferenske or Fremenik. Leaving Gilinar, passing through the World Gate. I was and have always been a mediator for my people. They did not know what they needed me, but they did. Now my voice has lost its weight. There are no ties that connect us anymore. What role does a mediator play in impro- impro Improvished anarchy? Feel desire to travel, to visit the Illajanka, perhaps, to see the Infernus roiling one more time. Uh, what does it all mean for the Majorit? There will be an optimism among us, no doubt, but I am ever the skeptic. Wonder where the rituals were the only barriers between us and complete chaos. They forced us to ally, to rely on one another. They gave us structure. They gave us a perspective for something akin to mortality. Without them, I worry we will become monsters. Any fear thoughts? 
You've become my friend, Polarized Moon. More than that, I deserve... More than... More than I deserve. More than any Majar deserves. There is something I have kept from you, and I feel you deserve to know. When we are gathered on the frozen plateau, I became aware of who my attacker was, who wiped my memory. Something triggered in my memory and have a lingering scent, an echo of their power. I do not know why it hadn't come to me before. I am sure that my attacker was Lucian. It gives me pause, since my power was never close to his. I should be dead, crystal at the bottom of the sea. It's time I did something to value, to give my meaning, my remaining life some value. Goodbye. I will talk to Zamorak last. Uh, Zamoragal, hi. Run along to Zeros, whelp, unless you would rather talk to me, which seems to seem likely. What do you do with your newfound power? You want to know what you can do in- <laughs> You want to know so you can get in my way again? Ha! Huh. Think I'm an imbecile. A villain who squanders about speechifying. You want to know what I intend to use with my power? I intend to use it. When they be bottled up a research like these fools, I was going to be like fireworks in the sky. There are things that need to be done, some duties, some grievances to resolve, and they are a quick step for the fantastic dance that we all follow. Are you truly loyal to Zamorak? Who are you truly loyal to? You stand here and question me if I am mer a merry turncoat, yet you have had more masters than a demon butler. I am loyal, or who or what I am loyal to is none of your damned business. Now crawl back to your pie-making or tree-cutting or whatever it is you do. What do you think of the other Majorit? Very little. With minor exceptions, Hazil alone has earned my true respect. But I have missed I see something in, of me in Kazard. The rest of you could be tossed in the fires and furnace and wait and I would not even waste a trip to watch them burn. Alright, goodbye. Off you go to Zaros the top of the mountain. Or could you ask me something instead, of course? What do you do to your newfound power? What Zamorak bids, he will need me. And I will be his side. This is what he deserves. But I intend to sniff around Zaros. He has presented himself as something between a savior and a friend. And I buy none of it. I intend to see beneath that damned mask and show it to the world. Why are you- there are so few female Majarit? You humans are so m obsessed with distinction. But it's f that is female, that is male. Life is not to be tagged and sorted, worm. Life is chaos, and chaos cannot be preserved and studied. Our forms are the will of Ma. And you- do you presume to understand her will? An elder god's will? She was unknowable. We must call it chaos simply to remain sane. There's an answer for you. Maybe Ma loved Zeros more than the witch Saren. She constructed more commonly in his image. It's a nice story, wrapped in a bow for you. Goodbye. Bill Rock. I wonder why Zeros only wanted to meet you at Ma's death place. Or do you have something to ask me? What will you do with your, your newfound power? Ah, uh, power. It's time to complete my Damonheim project, no doubt. You thought its sole purpose was to find Zamrak. It had another. Damonheim was to be an army for my master. Yes, though trials and fear, I would war... Harden the workers so they would become warriors. I would use my portals to raid worlds for their troops, reanimate the fallen to populate his infantry. Well, he was lost. They were a workforce. Now they are his horde. This power will be used to raise up Damonheim, bring it to the world. Billarok's great gift. And of course, there is a floor alone that I, that I alone have seen. Where has Moya been during all this? She has been tied to the ritual. She has never been tied to the ritual, so it will mean little to her. I have been teaching her so much more than, Ma than Majarit to be something new. Oh, yes. Hmm. Zamrak has plans for her, and those plans require her to be a Damonheim. What do you think about the other Majarit? I'd forgotten what most of them you looked like, to be honest. When I began a quest for Master, I resented all of them all. I could see their posturing to the self-interest. But my labor gave me perspective. Hmm. They were scared of him, which was natural. They did not help because they feared being close to him and what it would mean. Uh, one we should fear as, a, as an Adra. Indeed, I have dabbled in the power that can be found in madness. And I see its power in him. Okay, goodbye. Hello, Hazil. Zaros wanted you to meet him at the mountain. We can talk if you have time. What will you do with your newfound power? I will take time to test the limits of it. I have never been recognized for my patience, but I am beginning to see its value. Once the dust settles, I will look in the Shadow Realm. It was once my it was my province once, and Sleeske made it a more questionable choice in not joining us here. I have also I also have my eye on a force, a fallen people. It's time to move to form a cult into something of substance. Why the horns? It's not always of the Majarit. The answer will seem strange to human ears. 
There was a time when I was a Majarid. Humans would probably call them a different tribe to the Majarid. But that tells a half-truth. Power was not shared among the, the Masoret like it is with the Majarit. They had no rituals. I can see the inevitable that the Masoret were doomed to the death of weakness. Oh, the death from the Majarit, of course. So I separated from the Masoret. But abandoning my nature left its mark on me as my body was twisted. Only Ma will know why this happened. Perhaps I twisted her intentions, but I embrace it. It's the remainder of my progress and of my growing. Did you know Zamorak was Kazard's father? We all had our suspicions. Zamorak may have hated of, hated of secrets. Hate. Zamorak may have a hatred of secrecy, but he has been rescient res to talk about this. What do humans call it? Personal life? Until this moment, I have been Kazard's mentor. Kazard wishes to continue his teachings, that I am ready. If Zamorak replaces me, then I will find another to teach. Goodbye. All right, Kazard. Chop, chop. Zeros is waiting for you up there. Four more... I have far more interesting, though, if you wish to converse. What will you do with your power? It's tempting to slam a metal fist into their temple, but imagine the grumbling, as Sanadra would be whimpering all day long. Right now, my power is Zemrax. I am his hand, holding a blade, dripping in blood. If he wants to tear holes in the Shadow Realm, I'll tear. If he wants me to fight, Siske, fight Lisuke, I'll fight. If he wants me your head on a spike, I will chew it off. So, Zemrax is your father. What is it to you? It's none of your human plays, you little runt. I'm not going to bur cry or burst into song. Palkira was my mother. Samarak was my father. All I know is that he means I have great power within me, as I always suspected. It's important with repaying Zamorak. Whatever he needs, I will give. Okay, hello, Zamorak. It is a glorious day for the Majorit, Polarized Moon. But I would, al I would be alone now. My form and my pride have both been torn. I have entered into a pact they may that may have dire consequences. Okay. Alright, I guess we're going up here to talk to Zeros now. And it looks like that will probably be the end of the episode. I'm I'm kinda surprised that this whole bit here took a whole nother episode, but then again I did take the time to speak to every one of them because some of them had some interesting information, like the thing about the crystals on the foreheads and why some of them have horns. Um, I think I did learn about the Maserat in some other quest at some point, or in some other journal, I'm not sure. They, that does sound familiar, and I think I knew about that at some point. Okay. Hello, Zeros. So this is all that is left of Ma. In truth, I do feel a sadness spreading within me. It is unexpected. Feeling sad about the death of your mother was unexpected? She was childlike, treating my sister and I like playthings. I was glad to escape her grasp when I left. Now, though, I feel an aching within me, like a part of me is no longer there. I cannot imagine how Saren feels. Tell Zeros what Saren did to Ma. Ma wasn't completely dead when the ritual ended. Saren made the decision to put her out of her misery. Sister... Seeing Ma like that must have caused her immense heartache. Her reaction was more under understandable after making that decision. I did I do not expect she will forgive me. Is that thing all that's left of Ma? Yes. As the Corn Elder God, I can sense something dormant residing within. Power, perhaps. I must thank you for helping me obtain this polarized moon. It's very useful for my plans. None of this would have happened without you. You helped me return to this world and made it possible for the Majar to return here with me. You were crucial in uncovering shrouded history between... and even served as the witness of the pact between Zemrak and myself. You have my respect for helping the Majarit. Although some of them will never say this, they are indebted to your efforts here today. Oh! Fantastic! The Shard of Ma. Tome with three chapters, each worth a thousand... a hundred thousand experience. Shard of Ma, access to nightmare creatures, access to ancient memories. Zamorak armor override, tiny Karshai. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Children of Ma, read the journal. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pump this all into necromancy. So that's quite a- that's a whole level up, I think, right there. Uh, was it not? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. I was gonna say, that should have been a whole level up. Fantastic. 
Uh, makes monsters in the heart of Gilinor non-aggressive. Maximum multiplier to 400%. Your work here is complete, Polarized Moon. You may return to Gilinor, and yes, you converse with the Majard. I'm sure they have much to say. Alright, I, I talked to all of them, and that is about all the time I've got for this episode. So, the... I now have two shards, and one of them is for the God Wars dungeon, and one of them is for the Elder God Wars dungeon. Um, which is great. But either way, that's about the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you liked the episode, ring that bell if you like to see more. Good night. And we are going to move on to Flagfall tomorrow. Bye-bye!